<laughs> we got the paddle wheel cover on there and when we beached the boat it was a piece of cake because the paddle wheel does not go down as far as the pontoons. I've never driven this far on a boat with so little testing because I only took it a, I don't know, maybe a few miles around my house before coming out here. But uh, everything's working perfectly. All right, back home, it's a couple days later. I got both strips of the metal up on here. I need to do some paint and stuff, but uh, the boat's totally functional right now. And on our trip to town, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but it took us three hours and 20 minutes, which is the fastest we've done so far. One way, just pedaling, no motors or anything. Oh, and I should probably show this. Um, here, there's a stream of water coming down here. When I cut the floor out of the back part of the boat here, you know, I, I cut into the, the back, whatever you cross piece here a little bit. So water splashing in there and there's no way for it to get out. So I've been driving around with 50, 100 pounds of extra water just inside this back part. So I just drilled a couple holes to let the water out. Anyway, the general consensus is this boat is amazing. Performed excellently. And uh, my friend and I, who drove it to town, both very happy with it. It's, it's way more comfortable sitting up and pedaling down. And that's even without seats. I still need to make the seats on it. But uh, yeah, even without seats, I can drive this to town and back. Yeah, with some effort, but it, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, and the steering was excellent. And uh, I put a little curvy pipe up there so it's easy to grab onto. So I sit there and I mean, that's basically where my hand goes anyway. And yeah, the steering's really good. And the steering works in reverse, which is great. Yeah, now I need to think about what, I, what else I want to do to the boat. So I need to get the, I need to get some boards in here. <clears throat> and we were debating whether I should put a sail on it or solar panels and a motor. I'm leaning towards solar panels and a motor right now. I could still go either way. Probably the biggest thing that's pushing me in the direction of solar panels and a motor is that it would also have batteries and that would mean the uh, the boat would have electricity so yeah it would drive but I could also power other things with it oh and the solar panels would be a shade roof which is really nice to have with the cover this goes right down so the box in here stays dry so I can put stuff in there or kids or whatever and now back here stays mostly dry, although a little bit of water kind of spits out the back here. So maybe I'll block that off so this really stays dry. Other than that, I'm just really happy with it so far. I've been using it the last few days as my main boat. Got my tools on there and everything. And everything. No, I don't really have everything on the boat. <laughs>